Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in Elm Creek. That's going to be all rolling done. So I want to go and check Field 71, but we're not going to just go over there and check it. We're going to do this in a little bit more style. I feel that uh, just, just going there... However, it's, it's, it's not really the way that we should be traveling around. We need to be traveling around with something resembling a little bit more, um, a, 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 little, a little bit more panache. Something, something's going to make us just, well, it's, it's going to be fun. Regardless of, you know, how it looks, looks aren't everything, it's going to be fun. That's that's the important bit here, is, is we're going to have a lot of fun doing this. So I'm just going to have this roller here. I'm going to unfold him. Get round into this corner. I'm hoping that... Yeah, the, the planter has only got... The, the seed drill has only got one more pass to do anyway. So we should be alright. So I can go to there. And then he will carry on and do that bit. So we want to go... Here. Yeah. Yes, one more pass and he'll be finished. So that is the barley planted in this field. And I want now to go here a minute. And we're just going to... These are just two leased machines. It's purely so we can find out if this baler has a pre-compression chamber. It looks promising because of the way... The shape of it on the back there. That does look promising. It does! It does! Look, see? It's got two capacities which means it has a pre-compression chamber which means that we can run continuous it fills up the first chamber and then once it's filled that it transfers it to the second chamber and that finishes making the bale and puts the string or the netting on it and then ejects that bale while the pre-compression chamber is filling up um, so if you're wrapping it will also do that at the same time now the only downside to this is that as it's running if the if you're doing the wrapping or something it will slow the tractor down to a speed that everything can keep going now i did hear people in fs19 complaining about that saying well you wouldn't have a machine slowing down a tractor actually you do with these they do actually set them up so that the tractor and the the computer on this one talks to the computer on the tractor and it slows it down so that it just runs at a nice steady speed and keeps the whole thing going. So that is actually quite realistic. Uh, I'm going to return that one. And I'm going to return that one. So we don't need to worry about those just yet. We will do those in the spring. It's October now. We're not doing a cut of grass at the moment. At least we don't have to go and plant the Field 71. Which is absolutely fantastic. I'm just going to move this one out of the way of the roller. And I don't need to worry about it. And I'm also going to get another vehicle... I've got a Lizard Road Rage now. It's another car that uh, is a really fast car. That one's quite cool. It's good fun to drive that one around. Uh, you can just stay there. But no, that's not what I want to go and get right now. We've got a couple of quad bike options right here. There's a quad bear right there, which does look pretty good. It's got a few options on here. Attachers, things like that. Um, and a few color options and so on. But it's this one right here that I actually prefer. This one reminds me a lot of the uh, Honda that was the first quad bike I drove. So you've got wheel design right there. You've got a couple of options. I'm going for that one. The uh, wheel brands here. I want to stick with this one with the, the rougher tires. Uh, the handlebar design I'm going with. Oh, we've got a couple of handlebar designs. Uh... Go with that one. Bumper. No. I'll go with that one. No, I don't want that. We'll go with that one then. Uh, attachers. Ah, I see. This one on the side. Standard. We'll just go with a standard hitch on here. Engine on here. I've already looked at this a little bit. So you've got power shift. Right here, it goes up to 120k, and then you've got variable CVT. I'm going with the power shift option. And the colors are going to stay the same, and then we're going to buy this one. So we've now got a quad bike that goes ridiculously fast, which is very, very cool. And that's what I wanted to try out. So there's our quad bike. Got 120k top speed. 
Look at this thing. There we go. We have our quad bike. That looks very, very slick. Very cool. Very nice. I like it. We're going to take this for a little spin. Right. So I want to go to field 71. So I'm going to whiz out here. I don't know what this thing's going to be like for cornering or anything like that. We'll try it out. Takes a bit to build up speed. I don't know what the CVT option would have been like for the engine, whether it would build up speed faster. Oh, he does slide, around, does slide around a bit. It's not surprising, really. It's got a light machine. So that's our field there on the right, and the new field that we've bought is down here, the other side of the railway. You know what I'm going to do. That railway is just begging to be used, isn't it? It is just begging to be used. 85 we can get to. Okay. I'll be honest, that was a bit disappointing. I thought that we might get something better than that. Now, I'm not actually steering at all at the moment. There we go. It's, it, it, it's, it's slowed down. AI worker A has completed the task. I wonder if I go and change the engine setup, if it will actually go faster. We, we might have to do that. Will it jump? Oh. Oh. I just went over the... Yeah, that's, that's... That's that's not so good right there. I like this quad bike. I do. A bit disappointed that the railway doesn't offer more opportunities for getting um, getting a bit of hang time there. Um, we'll see what we can do. If we go over to our workshop a minute, we will very quickly just test out the CVT option of the engine and see if that allows us to go faster. We managed to get to about 85k. Um, I suppose we should be doing in miles an hour in dollars on here, shouldn't we? Because, you know, the, the, the map that we're actually playing. So let's let's just switch that over a minute, shall we? We'll go in here and we'll go miles and dollars right there. Come back out of that. Okay, 74 miles an hour is, is, is the beast here. So if I go into that one right there. Actually, I didn't need to come over to the workshop. I've got the one where I can just walk up to it, haven't I? Customize. Right there, engine setup. So I want to go through the version 2, and now I've got the variable CVT. 120k option right there. Customize. Yes. Only 450 to change that over. That's not very much. Let's see how this works. Is it going to be a bit faster? Uh, it feels maybe slightly more responsive. Let's try it. So we're going to go straight down here. Nope, this is actually worse. This this is actually worse than the last one. So I'm not even going to bother with that. Let's let's just get off of this one a minute. Oh, we okay. That's really cool. We've got strap options on the back there and on the front as well. Extra straps that we can use. Uh, you pick up, I don't want to pick it up, uh, N is, is, is the one we want. That one right there. Customize, and I actually want to take this back to the previous version we had, because that does actually seem to work better. So I'll go with that, yes. There we go, right out in the field, I changed the entire gearbox setup for this quad. Although... Yeah, that, that is actually better, I think. Let's go. Okay, maybe it's not better. Well, at least I did manage to do a little bit of a jump. Oh, I hit the tree there. Well, overall, it's not too bad, I suppose. We can't we, we we can't really jump. I'm not going to mess around with this very much longer. We we're, we're going to just we're going to drive back now. So we've got this field right here, and we're going to want to mow this field, and then we're going to want to turn it into bales. I think we will mow it with a big mower so that we can just leave it in windrows, and we're not going to have to worry about any kind of um, raking job first. We can simply just carry on and get going with that bailing and trying that out. So the only job that we're going to want to do through the winter, because we are going to be getting pigs on this series, but I don't want to be buying food in for them. We will, in a future series, be buying all of the animals. I've got an idea for a future series 
where we buy every single type of animal. We don't do arable cropping and we just buy the food for them and we'll see if we can actually, if that will be profitable for us. But we're not going to do that on this map. Um, that's going to be something that we'll do elsewhere. Now, let's just have a listen. In here. Okay, I love the reverberations around through the building. That is very cool. This has got to be a diesel quad bike. The noise this thing is making is definitely a diesel quad bike. I've, I've, I've used a diesel quad bike. And that might be why it hasn't got very much speed or pull on it as well. Like, it, it takes a long time to build up because it's diesel. That's why. It's, it's, it's letting the team down. It is. It's, it's badly letting the team down. Right. Uh, let's just double check our field up here. Needs rolling. He's actually rolled the entire field. That's really good. Like I said, I'm not going to worry about the lime, but I would like to put some fertilizer on there. That that would be a good idea, I think. So let's go to you. And that one's all done, so we don't need to worry about that. We'll get this moved out of the way and folded up. And then if I fertilize this field a minute, what am I fertilizing it with? That's the lime spreader over there. Lime spreading we can do later in the winter. So the fertilizer is just going to be that one. We don't have to worry about weeds anymore. So if I just have that one there. You know it would help if I was... <laughs> if I was approaching it from the correct side. That would probably make a little bit of a difference. Uh, so let's go to you. I need to move you out of the way. Let's go and put this one in the shade a minute. That one can be moved out of the way and put in, parked up in the shade. Get you in there. I know I've got machinery everywhere all scattered around at the moment. We're going to start trying to tidy this place up a little bit. This is just a play around series, but we still want to try and like keep things running you know, at least at least a little bit tidy. You know what? There isn't much... E Rather than doing all this shunting around, why don't we just do it like this? There. I love being able to do that. That is... That is so cool. Oh, that's brilliant. Right, you, you, you've kind of danced around a little bit. There. Right. Go like that. <laughs> that's so much easier. We, ju we just do that every time. We just do that every time. That's... Oh, I'm never going to get tired of being able to do that. That is absolutely brilliant. We need to do something about honey and the, the honey palette in general. So if I have this one right here, and we will get the hired help working on this field. I'm going to spread that one out. I think about there is going to be right. Because that's... Actually, it's not halfway anymore. Because we widen the field, I think it's going to end up taking three power. I'm going to put that out as... Oh, no, it should do. If I, if I take that as wide a pass as I possibly can right there, and then just press H, he will go and fertilize there. Should just be enough to do a second pass down across that field there. Should. At least I hope. Uh, I've got... Yeah, you're not doing anything. How are the greenhouses? Let's just double check those a minute. We need water and we need water in there. So we'll have this one and we'll go and get some water while the fertilizer is happening. And we can fill them up. We're going to want a bigger tanker. That's what we want. If we get a lorry and a bigger tanker, we could do that. I'm going to also put down the pigs. We'll do that through the winter as well. So this little water tank here, I don't think we're going to need to worry about this one. I think we could probably get rid of it. And we want to change this track ever so well. I suppose we could use one of the tracks. And we'll have the other one that we'll be using. So you're going to come in through here. And we will unload that there. We've only got $259,000 now, so we're going to need to borrow a bit more money. We're at $5 million, so I'm going to just take this up to $6 million so that I've got enough to buy a water tanker and a lorry for pulling it. Um, we're also going to be buying a uh, lorry, water, a third greenhouse so that we've got all three of the greenhouses going. 
Six million. There we go. That one's now empty. I'm going to just leave this one here a second because we may not be wanting to use this one very much more. So I'm just going to put you there just for a moment and then we're going to go in here. I haven't really looked at the lorries that we've got available yet. Now, we're in the US, so we're going to need a, a, one with the nose. That is the only option we've got for a European-style lorry in the base game, which I am actually disappointed about. I would like to have seen more. There's, there's several mods that have now come up so that we're getting some um, more options for them, but I am a bit disappointed that there was only one in the base game. I thought it would have been nice to have some more. So we've got a Superliner 6x4, a Pinnacle. These are all Mack trucks. I don't know anything about these. This one looks to be the newest. Are they classic models or something, or do they just make them like this? Like, is that like a, a, a new model and then this is a classic, or is this something that's still fresh off the production line? That goes up to 505, and so does that, and this one's 500. This is set 500. Is that like a, a classic model? Uh, is this a production option now, just made to look like that? I, I, I don't really know. It looks like an older vehicle. Not really sure which one we should be having and which one we should. I, I don't really know anything about these. Um, I don't know anything about the European trucks either, to be honest. But um, there we go. So let's let's go with the license plate first. What are, what are we going to have? We've got type 1, type 2. You know, I'm just going to go with Frithgar. This is going to be Frithgar 7. Just because he's going to be Frithgar 7. Main colour. Yes. No, I don't want purple. I like green. Green is actually my favorite color. So let's go with... We could go with class green. Classy green! There's a very dark green right there. Fent classic. Uh, I'm going to go with that one. We have a bright colorful green. We'll, we'll go with that one right there. Rim color right there. Gray, white, uh, chrome. We will stick with the chrome. Uh, what else? We've got a day cab, day cab premium, sleeper. I can, we'll, we'll take a sleeper, I think, because we're going to want to be able to get a bit of shut eye in here as well. So you've got the sleeper 48, sleeper 48 fairing. That basically reduces drag on the vehicle as it heads off down the road. Uh, what is that? Oh, that's one of these monster things. It's basically... Like a, a camper van on wheels. Like you walk around inside that cab. That that sort of one in there. You, you walk around on it. But this is designed for people who like go away at the beginning. Um, they, 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 they go away in their lorry on like the, um, the beginning of the month. And they come back at the end of the month. This isn't for someone who overnights one or two nights. This, this is for someone who lives in their truck for weeks at a time. So, you know, you, you kind of... You kind of expect that to, to, to be a bit of luxury in there. This one is pretty good, but I, we're going to go with this. We're, we're going to go with this one. So design, what's the difference? Oh, I see. Is that mirrors on there? It must be. They're, for, they're pointing backwards. Extra mirrors. That's really cool. So why haven't we got extra mirrors here if they just... In Uh, we're going to go with the extra mirrors on the front. I like that. Uh, engine setup. Let's just go with the biggest engine there. 505 horsepower. GPS. We don't need GPS. We don't get lost. Bye. Okay. Right. Now we're talking. So I'm going to want a tanker to go with this one, which means that we want to go to animal... Animals, I think. There's another one that we want to go to, is there? I got the standard one right there, which takes milk, water, fertilizer, and herbicide. And then we've got some extra options here from... Actually, none of those are tanker options. Have we got tanker options here somewhere? I've got slurry tankers here. I've got a tanker option in here. There's one there, the Garant, that takes slurry and digestate... Di Digestate and not a lot else in there. 
I thought I had more options for trucks. You have got them in here. Like, we've got all kinds of options for trucks with trailers in this section. So, I don't know if any of these, like, that... No, that doesn't change over to a, a liquid one as well. I don't know if we've got anything in here. This is... Well, I've already shown you these. This is this is the ones from Ducky with the, the pictures on the side. They're very cool. I like those. Uh, so, likes so of dumpers and that is... I don't think we've got trailers that give us additional options. Look like it. Oh, it doesn't really matter. We're going to go with... We're going to the animal section. And we'll go... Is that one there? It's 32,000 litres. That's the only option I've got at the moment. So I think I'm going to take this one. We want the, the 32,000 litres. We can have stainless steel, chrome or black. We'll stick with that one. We'll stick with that. Yeah, that's all going to be the same. So we will buy that one for 68,000. Okay. Let's get out of there. Uh, so I'm going to move you off out of the way. And then I'll bring that truck back up here. Let's move this one over here. And move you right off to the side. Like that. Let me very quickly go in here. Under construction, landscaping, painting. And we're going to paint out this bit of field here. I want to get rid of that. So I've got forest ground. I've got grass. The bitterly disappointing thing about Elm Creek is that we've got so few painting options. The Hobeleron map has got loads of options, which is really, really cool. I do not understand why we haven't been given the same options here on this map. It's really peculiar to me that we don't get the same um, landscaping paint options on all the different maps. Uh, why have we only got a handful of them on this one, and then we got so many more on another map? That, that I, I, I don't get that, because it's... The options are still in the base game, aren't they? So I really don't understand that. But what I do want to do is I just want to paint this over like this for a minute. We'll start with a base of grass in here purely because I think it's going to be easier to do our landscaping afterwards because remember we're putting the pigs down here on this bit so if we've got a base and we're starting off like this it should make it a little bit easier so we're not going to put the pigs in just yet but I do want to put in the extra greenhouse which is why I wanted to sort the field out first so we're just going to make a nice straight line up through here with the grass bit this doesn't take long at all. That one. There. There. And there. Right. Okay, that's done. And then we want to go into production. We want to go to greenhouses. This greenhouse. Actually. Ooh, okay, it's being weird. There. Doesn't like it sometimes. And I want the big greenhouse right here. I'm going to turn you around, and I want that one there, but I want to move it back up this way quite a way. So I've got room to be able to get round. I want to be able to get round with my truck as well. So I think what we'll do is if I move this one over here, there is space in the corner there. But I actually think there's something I could do with that. If I drop that one down there like that, and then I go into the landscaping, maybe we could build like a little bit of a track that will come in here. Now, I'm not very good at using this one. I haven't used this one very much. I think what you do with the slope is you click there. Right. Set slope target point. And then slope to point from down here. Basically, you can set the slope like that. So it starts it up the top. And then... Okay, that's not working over there. It's because I stopped, I think. Set slope target point. There, let's move it round a little bit, that's better. And then we've got a slope that we're building in. 
which I think is a really, really cool feature. So I'm just going to... I want to move that around a little bit. I want to set the slope target up there just so that I can build in up here a little bit as well. And then if I go to this one, change that brush size up and just kind of smooth this out a bit up here. I'm doing some smoothing on there. Now, I have now got a bit of a dip on that bit, which we don't want. So I'm going to just bring that up a little bit. And I'm doing this very quick clicks. Very quick clicks. I'm trying to be clever or anything with it. I'm just... A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. There, like that. And then I'll go back to the smoothing. Smooth it back down again. That seems to be a bit better. What I'd like to be able to have here is somewhere that the truck can come in off the road up here. That's that's kind of like the, the idea here. If the truck can come in off the road there, that would be brilliant. Okay, so that's that bit done in there. Then I want to go to our production, which is not in there. It's in this one. And we want to go to the new greenhouse. We want to have this one. Uh, we're going to have tomatoes in this one. So we'll go activate in there at the moment. I don't have any water, so we need to get that. Uh, was there anything else I desperately needed to do? There isn't at the moment. We've done the rolling. The spraying has just finished. There's the sprayer. He's come back down. And he only did two passes on there, but that's enough. Uh, up the other end of the field, I suspect that we are going to want to just run back up there. Yeah, there's a, there's a bit up there that we just need to go and tidy up. So um, we'll do that. And then I don't think there's anything else that we need to worry about. It'll be in the spring. We do want to get more fertilizer done, but we can do that in the spring. And we don't... Well, it's, it's not something we need to worry about this time of year. And then we've got spring planting and stuff like that to do on several of the fields. There will be some plowing and stuff I guess we could go and get started with. Because the planters... Like, we've got the two big fields for the corn that we're going to want to do. Let me just run that up through there. you got to be careful turning sharp with this thing because it swings the boom out of the way and then you, you, you miss the bit that you're aiming for. Right, that's that done. Let's fold that one up. Get that back down over there so that's out of the way. Don't think there's anything else I want to do with this one at the moment. Let's just leave it there. Fold that one up. Right. Okay, and then I want to go and try out the new toy that we've just got and bought. There we go, with our massive sleeper cab. That thing. Yeah, that's a, that's a double bed in there. TV up on the side. Right, I'm going to press C to jerk going to cab, but so frequently when you try and do this, it like pauses the game for absolutely ages. Oh, okay, it didn't there. I like in the top left-hand corner, you've got an actual symbol that represents the shape of a... Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.